gentlemen i'm very delighted and privileged to welcome you all on this august occasion in celebrating the silver jubilee of army institute of management kolkata today's event will get initiated with the auspicious lighting of the lamp by the esteemed chief guest and the guest of honor followed by the inaugural address by the honorable director of the institute later on academic coordinator of the institute will present the silver jubilee report Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our chief guest and guest of honor for today's occasion. May I now request the chief guest along with other dignitaries to light the traditional diya and start the celebration at an auspicious note. It was a dream of late General B C Joshi, then Chief of the Army Staff, who took a bold and far-reaching decision to venture into professional education. Making that vision a reality, Army Welfare Education Society has till date established 12 institutions. One of those gems is Army Institute of Management, Kolkata. With immense pleasure, let me invite the dignitaries on stage. I would request Chief Guest for the occasion, General Officer Commanding in Chief of Eastern Command, Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita, Uttam Yudh Seva Medal, Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, Sena Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal to take their place on the dais. I would also like to invite the guest of honor for today's occasion, Chief of Staff of Eastern Command, Lieutenant General K K Repswal, Sena Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal. Major General I S Rathore, Chairman of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, and Mr. Ibrahim G. Stefanos, Managing Director of Tata Steel Downstream Products Limited.
Thank you, sir. Major General V. S. Ranadi is an alumnus of the National Defence Academy, Khadakwasla. He was commissioned into Regiment of Artillery in the year 1984. He commanded a field regiment, a sector of Assam Rifle in Eastern Sector, and a Mountain Division in Northern Sector. He retired from National Security Guards as Inspector General of Operations. He has an MPhil in Defence and Management Studies and MPhil in Public Administration. He has also published articles on national and military strategic issues. I would now like to request our director, Major General V.S. Ranadi, to present the inaugural address. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome respected distinguished guests, chief guests, guests of honor. I also welcome dignitaries from other walks of life, chairman NKDA, partners from the corporate world, faculty members, staff, and students of AIMK. Time has flown, and we have reached an important milestone in our journey towards excellence. We complete 25 years of imparting higher education. AIMK's part of the dream was established in 1997 at Alipur, Kolkata. We undertake two years of MBA degree course, and during the course of instructions, we stress upon building domain knowledge of the subjects and also lay out a structured personality development program, which is so very important to the students. We prepare and nurture our students to take on the challenges of the corporate world. We at Institute have varied academic and non-academic events to develop our students. All round development and exposing them to the dynamics of the corporate world. It is my pleasure to inform you that due to our sustained efforts, we have a very healthy record of placements. We have achieved a 95% placements this year, and we hope to achieve more in the coming years. Here at our institute, we provide quality infrastructure with modern amenities and very conducive environment to our children to develop into a very responsible citizens. We moved into our present premises in 2021. Incidentally, General Officer Commanding in Chief was at Headquarters to Command back then and his contributions to move AIMK into new facility was a landmark event. He saw and in short, the very best for us. Sincerely, we are grateful to you, sir. I shall fail in my duty if I do not thank our affiliated university for their support in running the program. I'd also take this opportunity to thank Chairman NKDA to have given all the necessary support for us to settle down in the new town. We are also grateful to our corporate partners for supporting us. AIMK alumni and ex-faculty members who are our strength always. I also extend a hearty gratitude to our founding director, Dr. Sujit Kumar Basu and his founding team to have set pace for us. We are also grateful to the media who have been doing so much for us in promoting our brand. Finally, today we seek our blessings and good wishes and a continued support to achieve excellence in academic field. Thank you, Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. The journey of Army Institute of Management during these 25 years has been a relentless effort towards providing value-based education, imparting the ideals of academic excellence and sense of discipline, leading to the development of integrated personalities. I would now request our academic coordinator, Dr. Malini Majumdar, to present the eventful journey of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, during these 25 years. Thank you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a proud privilege for me to present the Silver Jubilee Report before this August gathering. Army Institute of Management was established by the Army Welfare Education Society on 28 July 1997. A milestone like Silver Jubilee inspires an institution to evaluate the purpose of its actions and quality of the service it renders to the society, providing the best services with one of the best instructional facilities placement opportunities, and freedom of choice in all academic matters, this institute has always been teasing for excellence. 
as a growing institution, it focuses on a value-based management learning approach interspersed with industry linkage, active involvement of alumni, and better social outreach at the campus. Initially, Army Institute was known as National Institute of Management, Calcutta. The institute name was changed on 11 February 2005. It is the first management institute under the aegis of AWES to receive the unique distinction of being accredited by NAC, the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. AIM Kolkata has also received the ISO 9001-2015 certification, apart from receiving many prestigious awards. Recently, AIM has received the World Education Congress Award for the second time as a best academic institution. This is an addition on the feather on its head. We had been blessed with wishes from great luminaries of India who had visited our institute in the past. We were fortunate enough to have personalities like former president of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, Rusi Modi, former governor of West Bengal, Mr. Kesri Nath Tripathi, and many other such dignitaries. The Army Institute of Management has an impeccable placement record driven by the attributes of our students who are multicultural and diverse millennials. The placement team has consistently exceeded expectations with regards to managing corporate relationships and helping students to achieve their potential in their chosen career. Our students, a mix of army wards and civil counterparts, are extensively groomed to develop professional acumen and a versatile personality that talks of army ethos and disciplined approach towards all facets of life. We also boast of alumni strength of 2000 plus who have created a unique name for themselves around the globe and are placed in various profiles in corporate organizations. In the year 2018, the Institute organized a national conference which was attended by a lot of academicians and research scholars. Apart from that, the Institute regularly organizes seminars, workshops, talks by industry captains to help in a holistic development of our students. The Institute also regularly publishes its newsletter and a scholarly journal, Kindler, which is widely acclaimed in the academia. Our students, participate in various competitive events in institutes of excellence across the country and regularly win different awards. They also participate in performing in and organizing various social, cultural, and sporting events in and outside the campus all through the year. In line with the vision of the Institute, which aims to become a premier business school recognized internationally for professional excellence in management education, the Institute has chartered its path in the international arena as well. As a debut, a memorandum of understanding has been signed with Dhaka University for academic exchange. It is needless to mention that without a cohesive team of dedicated faculty members, coordinating such diverse activities is an impossible task. AIM boasts of having highly competent and committed faculty members who relentlessly pursue excellence. Faculty members who have left the Institute in search of better opportunities are mostly engaged in IIMs and other institutes of excellence in and outside of India. Also, Support from administration and staff has always been exemplary. Without their sincere and enthusiastic support, it would have been impossible to attain the level we are at present. The journey of AIMK for the last 25 years has been an enduring one with all efforts pulled in to achieve the status of most preferred institute among the army wards. I would like to acknowledge with thanks the contribution of past members of governing body, 
founder director, Professor Sujit Basu, other former directors, former faculty members, and staff who have relentlessly contributed towards achieving this excellence. We realize that excellence is a result of vision, planning, and commitment, which cannot be achieved in a short tenure. Today, we are very fortunate to reap the benefits of the seed sown 25 years ago. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Among us, we have a renowned corporate leader whom we are privileged to have with us as the guest of honor for today's event, Mr. Abraham G. Stefanos. Mr. Stefanos is the managing director of Tata Steel Downstream Product Limited. He started his career with Indian Aluminium Company in 1984, where he held various positions in the smelter, extrusion, and the foil and packaging divisions. In 1997, he joined the senior leadership team of Tata Steel Downstream Products Limited, where he held the position of Chief of Market Planning, Vice President Marketing and Sales, Chief Operating Officer and Executive Director before being appointed as the Managing Director in 2014. Currently, he is the President of the Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry. In addition, he is the Chairman of the Confederation of Indian Industry Green Co Forum, Kolkata as well as the chairman of IM Calcutta Alumni Association. May I now request Mr. Abraham G. Stefanos to address the audience? Dignitaries on the dais, uh, ladies and gentlemen, very good morning to all of you. It gives me great pleasure to be here at this uh, 25th uh, Jubilee celebrations of the Army Institute of Management, Kolkata. And uh, there's a special reason, because uh, recently my company also ce celebrated 25 years of Silver Jubilee. And uh, my company started as Tata Ryerson Limited. And we have been associated for a long time in the beginning with NIM and later AIM and near campus at Aleppo. So our initial placements of our recruitments of MBA students, almost 100% was from National Institute of Management, Aleppo. Both uh, institutions were quite young because we also started in 1997 at Starter ISL. And uh, I was trying to remember why we have not uh, uh, had that level of interaction in the last maybe six to 10 years. But even the, uh, our company events, because we didn't have a office of our own and we, we didn't have a um, say grounds of our own, we used to hold in the NIM campus in uh, Alipur. So I'm really happy that uh, we're back here. And just like you have your own building today, we also moved into our own office uh, in uh, Sector 5 in 2019. So I could see a lot of parallels between how both the institutions have developed. Now, I'd like to say a few things about what we find or we what we found special and why we prefer to recruit from Army Institute of Management or National Institute of Management. So I'm talking about maybe the period uh, from about 1998 to 2004, 2005. First of all, the students who come with an Army background we found that in terms of their value systems, their personal conduct, their grooming, they are definitely one step ahead of the students who come from, uh, let's say, non-army background. And uh, we definitely wanted to take advantage of that because the Tata group, as you know, is. Uh, very, very focused on values. And we found that 
the type of uh, self-discipline, etc., that is instilled in people with an army background, because they have grown up in homes where a certain type of uh, discipline they have been able to see. And then they've studied in an institution with a group of peers who all come from that same background. And we were really very, very happy with the basic material, you know, that we are getting. The second big advantage that we found is the students are very mobile because with an army background, and of course I know that 80% of the students come from the army background and 20% from non-defense services background, but I'm just uh, talking about the students at large. They were very mobile compared to students uh, that we would recruit from other places because as part of their growing up, most of the students were likely to have lived in different parts of the country every two or three years, moving, changing places. And they had, a, I would say, a much more national outlook. It was very difficult for us, for example, if we recruit students from, uh, say, Maharashtra or Pune, they would very rarely would like to move out of Pune or if you uh, recruit, even in, uh, in Calcutta, there were quite a lot of percent of students who would be very, very reluctant to move out of Calcutta. But we didn't have this, uh, we never faced this issue when we recruited from Army Institute of Management. So I'm just wanting to point this out because as an institute and as students of this institute, you always already have many things going in your favor. And... Uh, I'm sure that uh, you should be highlighting this to recruiters. Around the uh, early 2000s, when the IT industry came in, then we found that uh, you know uh, we would hardly get students for placements because they were recruiting in such large numbers. But uh, we wished them all the best, the students which we could not recruit. Recently, so uh, maybe I would like to leave a couple of thoughts with the students because there are disadvantages and advantages from coming from a very structured background. The advantages I have already talked about. The biggest disadvantage is something that I always communicate to our own batch of recruits and especially people from the science background because in real life, most of the time you're dealing with uncertainty. You know, and most, you're MBA students. So in most business situations, we are dealing with uncertainty. But in our entire student life, you know, in a very structured background, we are conditioned to think that every problem has a definite solution. And there are very certain parameters. And if you are given all these uh, background information, you will say that, okay, this is the answer. This doesn't happen in real life. And I, I was happy to note that uh, a large percentage of the students, when I looked at the placement brochures, they are from non-engineering backgrounds because people from engineering backgrounds or science backgrounds, we tend to take that subject because we are comfortable with certainty. I am also an engineer myself. And uh, we are comfortable with clean, neat and clean solutions. Whereas people from humanities background or other non-science backgrounds, they are much more comfortable in dealing with uncertainties. And real life is all about uncertainties and compromises and getting the best decision in a, given a certain situation. So this is something that uh, I'm sure that you must keep in mind when you go through your business studies. As uh, your Professor Jayanto and I have uh, in uh, I am Calcutta, that uh, business subjects also tend to be simplified and uh, tend to give the impression that, okay, if you know all this and if this is your target market and this is the pricing, etc., then immediately, you know, you can launch a product and it will be a success. It doesn't happen like that. So you have to be prepared to deal with a huge amount of uncertainty. The second uh, 
I would say, observation, and that's a little bit of insight we got from one of our friends who actually uh, heads an institution of the army, which is uh, the equivalent of Kendri Vidyalaya, but only uh, for girls in Rajasthan. So we had invited him to speak uh, to us. And because he left the army, he was in the corporate function for a long time. And then we wanted to know what differences, differences he saw. And one of the things he pointed out to me was that, uh, look, in the army, when we recruit somebody, there's a great deal of attention given to that person to groom him up. So the first one or two years, he's shadowing somebody. So he knows the way we think, the way we take decisions, etc. And And definitely, if suddenly a situation comes where his superior is not available, he will be able to take those decisions. But he said, we don't find this in the corporate. In the corporate, you take recruit somebody, and they're just thrown into the job. You know, maybe one or two months maximum, he will be given some opportunity to familiarize himself with what the business of the company is. But then he's thrown a job, and they are under a lot of stress because they are not prepared properly. And this observation is correct. So many of you in a year or two would be in some corporate role. And uh, generally, the type of support or grooming or development, if it's a good company, you will get more of it. But if it's a you know, regular company, the world is moving very fast and there would be nobody to support you through that process. So you need to be prepared. And this is a bad thing, but it is very real that with very little orientation, you will be asked to take up responsibilities. And maybe in six months to a year, you may be actually heading some large activity in a firm. So you have to be prepared to do a lot of learning on the run. The comfort that is there in uh, uh, long term. For example, in the Tata Group, Tata Steel, they had a graduate trainee program. It used to be two years long. For two years, the graduate trainee has no real responsibility, but just to observe and you know be part of various things. So this is something that, uh, again, you have to be prepared for mentally, that you have to learn very fast and you know, take the ball and run. And finally, as MBA students, we are prepared for business leadership. And at a very early stage, you would have a lot of responsibility placed on you. There is a lot of expectation, there's a great deal of trust that the organization places on you to deliver its objectives. So quite often we had some of our own recruits state that, look, at home, I'm not even allowed to touch my father's car. But here I am, you know, I have to take, you know, a lot of decisions about this business, where we will sell or what it will be priced at or, you know, how it will be manufactured, etc. So there's a great deal of change in the responsibility that is given to you. There's a great deal of trust that is placed on you. And Take the values of the Army Institute of Management with you wherever you go. And I'm sure that you will all be very successful. And I wish you all the best. And I wish Army Institute of Management all the very best on its uh, Silver Jubilee. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It is time to introduce our chief guest for today's occasion. Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita, Uttam Yut Seva Medal, Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, Sena Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal. Lieutenant General Karita is currently the General Officer Commanding in Chief of the Indian Army's Eastern Command. He is an alumnus of the Sanic School Golpara, National Defense Academy, and Indian Military Academy. He was commissioned in 9 Command Regiment. The General Officer is also a graduate of Defense Service Staff College and has attended Higher Command and National Defense College courses. In his 38 years of distinguished military career, he has the distinction of donating important and challenging command and staff appointments in the Northeast and Jammu and Kashmir. He has also held various instructional appointments. 
the general officer, is also the colonel of the Kumaon and Naga regiment and the Kumaon scouts. I would now request the chief guest of today's occasion, Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita, Uttam Yud Seva Medal, Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, Sena Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal to address the audience. Distinguished guest, the faculty members and dear students. Uh, good morning to all of you. It's a great honor to, for me to be here today to celebrate the gold, silver jubilee of uh, Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, uh, which has come miles since its inception 25 years ago. Uh, I also congratulate all the past faculty members as also the present faculty members for putting in sustained effort to ensure that the Institute matures and produces business managers who contribute towards nation building. And I'm conscious of the effort that has been put in by all the people, including the administrative staff, which was required while shifting the campus to the new location here in 2021. Having been the chief of staff at that point of time, I am conscious of the challenges that were faced. Uh, it was only after setting a target date that uh, we were able to sh ensure a shifting of the institute to this new campus, which I must uh, confess that has come up beautifully. I'm seeing it after about more than two years now. And I'm sure uh, the students as well as the faculties are being able to use this excellent facility to pursue their educational pursuit while being at the academy. Uh, the details about the achievements of the Institute have already been spoken about in terms of the quality of education that is being imparted as also the placement uh, that are being achieved. Uh, these have all been possible because of the sustained hard work put in by all of you. And I would like to compliment uh, the entire team of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, for their dedication and devotion to groom the future leaders of the country. You all are aware that about in 90s, uh, the Army, as an organization, felt the need of professional institutes which are primarily for the wards of the Army people. So that is how uh, these institutes came about, out of which the Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, is, the, is one of those institutes which were established. What is uh, important thing to note is alongside the educational curriculum, it has also been able to imbibe the values and ethos that the entire army stands by. I think that is something which uh, Mr. Stephanos had also spoken about that gives the students from this institute an edge over the other competitors. These values of honesty, integrity, loyalty, and character, which is integral to the armed forces way of life, is also imbibed to the students here, and which I'm sure has been helping the uh, alumni of this institute in pursuing their own career wherever they have been placed. And here also, they not only learn theories, they carry with them these qualities, making them better leaders and contribute effectively, like I said earlier, to nation building. So two, three points which I want to uh, tell the students as well as the faculty is that, you know, the way the world is changing with the technology development, we also need to change. 
the entire glo global world is changing with the technology and which is evolving at a very, very fast pace. Therefore, incorporation of technology in management in the field of supply chain management using big data analytics, machine learning, risk management techniques, and ever-evolving digital arena advertising are areas where business administration and technical fusion is finding flavor. The global companies you all are aware, like Google, Amazon, Flipkart, Uber, Ola, are success stories of technology-infused global business and supply chains. We are also aware that in all spheres of life, the artificial intelligence has come to stay. It would become very, very predominant in decision making. And therefore, in the course curriculum that we are going to evolve, we need to, to make our students future ready. I think this aspect needs to be considered by the faculty. We also need to see the over the horizon requirements of our industry and the challenges that the students passing out of this institute are likely to face and make them future ready so that they become successful business leaders. And I'm sure uh, with the guidance of the faculty and the uh, director present here, the course curriculum will be tweaked to meet the challenges of the futures. Uh, to the students, uh, just a couple of words of advice. Uh, there are many challenges in life. And as also your personal life, as also your professional career, they are all full of challenges. And what is going to carry you through is your knowledge, hard work, grit, and determination for success. There are no shortcuts in life. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. So you have to be at it at all times. And you must learn from your failures and empower yourself to succeed. And you should not be afraid of taking considered risk. I have realized that in all domains, whether in armed forces or in corporate houses, risk-taking ability, having considered all the pros and cons, is a quality that is desired out of all the leaders if you want to succeed. So that is an important aspect which I would like all the students here to keep in mind. And you also need to ensure that uh, you take the harder right, which will pay the rich dividend in the long run, instead of taking the easier option. Uh, once again, at the end, I would like to compliment uh, the faculty and the administrative staff, as also the students of the Army Institute of Management, Kolkata, on this momentous occasion of Golden Ju uh, Silver Jubilee. And I wish that you grow from strength to strength and start producing business leaders who contribute towards the nation and take our great nation forward. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. On this spectacular occasion, we take the opportunity to exhibit a praiseworthy creation of AIM student and faculty as we present our newsletter and the Institute Journal to the audience. May I now request the chief guest and guest of honor to formally release the newsletter and the journal. The newsletter of this institute, Manager's Musings, is solely designed, conceived, and edited by students' editorial team, which delivers the happenings of this institute to the rest of the world. The institute journal, Kindler, showcases the research acumen of this institute and is highly regarded in academia. Thank you, sir. 
I would request Honorable Director Sir to felicitate the dignitaries who have kindly consented to grace this occasion. May I request Director Sir to felicitate Dr. Sujit Basu, Founding Director of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata. Thank you, sir. Now we are also honored to have Professor K.K. Chaudhary, former Director of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata. I would request Director Sir to felicitate Professor K.K. Chaudhary. Thank you, sir. May I now request General Officer Commanding Bengal Saberia, Major General S.S. Kalo, wishes Seva Medal, to grace the stage with their presence. Thank you, sir. May I request our director, sir, to felicitate Major General I.S. Ratha, Chairman of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata. Thank you, sir. Mr. Abraham G. Stephanos, Managing Director, Tata Steel Downstream Products Limited. Thank you, sir. General Officer Commanding in Chief of the Eastern Command, Lieutenant General Rana Pratap Kalita, Uttam Yud Seva Medal, Ati Vishes Seva Medal, Sena Medal, Vishes Seva Medal. Thank you, sir. With this, we now progress towards second part of today's event. I request all dignitaries on stage to kindly take their seats in the audience. बाधाएं आती हैं आए घिरे प्रलय की घोर घटाएं पांव के नीचे अंगारे सिर पर बरसे यदि ज्वालाएं निज हाथों में हंसते हंसते आग लगाकर जलना होगा कदम मिलाकर चलना होगा कदम मिलाकर चलना होगा भारत के पूर्व प्रधानमंत्री स्वर्गीय श्री अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी की इन्हीं पंक्तियों को अपने हृदय में बसाकर इस संस्थान के स्थापकों ने एक ऐसे ज्ञान के कक्ष का सपना देखा था जिसमें से प्रतिवर्ष योग्य और सक्षम छात्रों की एक उत्तम टुकड़ी निकले जो कि विश्व के हर क्षेत्र में उत्कृष्टता और पूर्णता की परिभाषा बने इसी सपने को हर वर्ष साकार करते हुए आर्मी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट कोलकाता इस वर्ष अपनी रजत जयंती मना रहा है इट इज सेट दैट अलोन वी कैन डू सो लिटल Together, we can do so much. Army Institute of Management's journey so far has been an embodiment of this teamwork, 
when all stakeholders have contributed to the best of their abilities for the development of this institute. Be it our alumni, revered teachers, staff, students, and the management. We take this opportunity to thank all of them from the core of our hearts. Let us present to you a pictorial presentation of the journey of Army Institute of Management, Kolkata.
Army Institute of Management has always focused on the holistic development of the students. And we are proud to have talented artists who can mesmerize the audience with their performance. This institute signifies the confluence of culture within its boundaries. Students from different parts of India converge here to produce a plethora of cross-cultural exchange quintessential of what awaits behind you. Hum rang rang hai, fir bhi sang hai. Aap sabhi shrota gano ka is sanskritik karikram mein hardik swagat hai. Durga puja ke is pavan tiohar ki nikatta mein vriddhi se, jo parivesh is nagari mein saaja hota hai, usi parivesh ko kaayam rakhte huye, hum is karikram ka aramb bhi Durga maa ki aradhana se hi karenge. Ya Devi Sarvabhuteshu Shakti Rupen Sanstata Namastasai 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 Namo Namaha
विभिन्न क्षेत्रों से आए हुए विविध और पृथक छात्रों के समागम से शुरू होता है संस्थान का उपन्यास जिसके की प्रथम पन्नों में अनुशासन अखंडता और दृढ़ता के पाठ उल्लेखित हैं ये सभी बच्चे अपने क्षेत्रों का सांस्कृतिक प्रतिनिधित्व करते हुए बड़ी ही सहजता और सुगमता से एक ऐसे माहौल की संरचना करते हैं जहां समन्वय और सक्षमता का विनिमय प्रत्यक्ष होता है अनेकता में एकता का सर्वोत्कृष्ट उदाहरण बनते हुए इस संस्थान के छात्र नई उपलब्धियों को हासिल कर रहे हैं कैसी है ये विविधता और कैसे होता है इसका संगम चलिए देखते हैं Traditions, customs, folklore, and heritage, sagacious wisdom standing to stage, the precipices of the land of chords, and we take you to a journey of chords, the land of the rising sun, where a psalm holds a ton, a ton of rivers, a bouquet of lives, and kazi, ranga, and manas alike. Adjacent to the abode of Bihu lies the state of Bengal, where the majestic king on his foes roams high and tall. Around the saris and puja it spun, thus the literature and rhyme began, embodying what we tend to call the grand state of West Bengal. There's a place where you have to end if you seek to see the gods descend, descending on the land that is true, beaches and temples through and through, embellished by the grace of Odissi and the trace, the trace of tribes and arts, captures the joy of heart. The town of Puri stands gate to Odisha, the rich eastern state. <laughs> I'm gonna make you mine. 
धक्कन के पठारों से चलते हुए नदियों किनारों से निकलते हुए बंगाल की खाड़ी के साथ साथ दक्षिण की ओर पकड़ के हाथ आइए हम आपको ले चलें जहां सागर की गोद में पले मंदिर की भव्यता से स्वच्छंद खड़ा है जहा नीलगिरी प्रचंड कृष्णा गोदावरी कावेरी सितर जो है विराट गजराज का घर द्रविड समुदाय के ज्ञान का कोश कलारी पयट्टू का कोपा कुलजोश कुचिपड़ी कथक कली की स्वतंत्रता संघ भरतनाट्यम की अखंडता पश्चिमी घाट के वनस्पतियों से युक्त पोंगल की पवित्रता से मनमुग्ध कृतार्थ जहां अनुरत करें आयुर्वेद जहां अनुरत करें जहां शंकराचार्य ने लिया जन्म जहां शंकराचार्य ने लिया जन्म ऐसी धरती को शत शत नमन The bus, the storms, the rush, the gate, the bulls, the bears, the trains, the waits. The city of dreams is what they call along the sea with the towering malls. Reflects the hustle, the run, the roast, the market, the movies, the gateway coast. Beyond the coast lies a place where lives at peace, no panic, no chase. Where the cotton fields whiten the land and Shivaji roams high and grand. Where Lavni enthralls joy with grace. Maharashtra is the name of the place. Now, let's rise up to the center of trades, where the art of business truly cascades, where the run of kach runs to make an art of nature for the eyes awake, where the park of gear stands as home for the king and the kingdom to climb and roam. The state of Gujarat is all culture and the biz. 
approaching the dunes as we go, reminiscing now to and fro. The life in desert and heat can never ever beat. The courage, the fervor, the zeal is what the pink reveals. The folk, the ballads, the greets, the Rajasthani treats makes the western part the place where it all starts. To join, to mix, profuse, where culture and talks diffuse is the ground of honor and pride with an aura that will never hide. The castles, the kings, the hills, the puppets and their drills. जहां अचल खड़ा है गंगा का शीश जहां देखा जहां विस्मय का ज्ञान है पानियों में जब रात है जहां फसलों की कनकता से पर्याप्त है भूमि जहां नदियों के कोलाहल से पवित्र है हर घर जहां लिफ्टा बैठा सूरज की लाली में केदारा जैसे किसी पर्व की थाली में वक्त जहां चट्टानों को कण कण में देखा बदल द्वागों के जालों में जहां मिलते हैं कमल किसान और जवान का जहां विशिष्ट है जहां राजतंत्र का घर है जहां भारत का Thank you. 
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू मैम everyday holds the possibility of a miracle so keep hoping for the best thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience may i now request the ushers to kindly escort our guests for high tea students are requested to be seated until guest leaves the auditorium it's been an absolute honor in hosting the silver jubilee celebration of army institute of management kolkata signing off are the master of ceremony shivani chauhan and i anand sai until then keep smiling keep shining and not to forget always keep learning thank you once again and have a good day